Well, away from the East Coast, ice and freezing temperatures are the big problem. Many elderly people can't leave their homes. 76-year-old Morgan Sweeney lives alone in Mallow. He says he feels isolated and abandoned by the local council. The radiators in his small home are heated by a back boiler in the sitting room fireplace, but he cannot light a fire because his water supply has been frozen for the past five days. Can I just say, Morgan, it is really, really cold in this room. It's freezing. It I'm is. wearing a scarf here, I'm wearing a pair of gloves, and it's really cold. I know, I know it is, yeah, because I'm not allowed to use the fire, really, because, well, I look after my place. Now, you have a little electric fire here, but that, yeah. that'll only... Wh how is that? How does that work for you? Useless. Useless. It gives no heat out at all. It's not worth putting it on, you know. I've, I've been sitting here at night, in the cold, sitting here, um, shivering, you know. And I, I, There was a lady there, here, and she gave me that blanket. And it was a gift, you know, when she gave it to me. Many other residents in the Summerhill estate in Mallow are in a similar position. I haven't had a shower. You feel dirty. Uh, you, uh, you can't, of course, wash your clothes. You're, you're doing the dishes uh, or anything washing up is impossible. Um, the, uh, the, the sanitation is, is a problem now. The council are going to come up later and they'll put the dirty water and we can shove that through the, uh, the system. What are we? What, 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 what are we? We're 2010? Or, or, and, and we were suggested that we should put paper between the sheets. This is Jane, uh, Jane Austen, Jane Eyre's time, way back in, 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 in the time before the Industrial Revolution. Mallow Town Council told us that a tanker of drinking water will be positioned in the estate from this afternoon and storage heaters will be given out to those who need them. In the early hours of this morning, a ship arrived into Cork Harbour carrying another 3,900 tonnes of salt from overseas. All day, dozens of lorries have been lining up to bring the salt to every county in Ireland. Extreme weather conditions demand extreme measures. Like everywhere else in the country, secondary roads in the south remain very dangerous, and some, like this one in Douglas, have even been closed off. Jerome Hughes, TV3 News, Cork. Jimmy Lynch says he would be stranded at home if it wasn't for his tractor. The elderly farmer lives on a hill near Ballynalee in County Longford, where snow has turned to ice on many roads, making driving conditions hazardous. Very, very bad. No grit, no nothing. Sliding all over the place. And you, you have to use your tractor to get around? I use the tractor to come in. I'm seeing my danger too, because there's no grip in the road. Many elderly people in the area are afraid to leave their homes because of the ice. A lot of houses now where um, stopcocks are frozen. There'll be no water since uh, you, uh, Christ Christmas Eve and indeed the roads now, which have been salted up, up, up until recently, haven't been done now in a number of days. It is closed tomorrow, yep. Yeah. Closed till Monday. Shannon Side Northern Sound Radio has been inundated with callers today looking for information about roads and schools. And people right across the region that we broadcast to five counties, you know, they're relying on us to kind of let them know what's happening in their local area. People with children that are trying to get back to school tomorrow, people that have to make their way out to work, they're all really, really concerned. St Mary's National School here in Edgeworth Town is one of over 100 schools in County Longford which will remain closed until Monday. In many cases, frozen and or burst pipes have left schools without water or heating. Icy schoolyards and roads are also making it too dangerous to open. Many other schools around the country are also remaining closed until Monday. Diane Connor, TV2 News, County Longford.